So this expression for power, the rate at which electrical components consume energy, is the product of current and potential difference, specifically for resistors. Resistors, I think of them as having electrical friction. And we know something about friction. Friction generates heat. So this resistor will generate heat at a certain rate. And the rate is based off of the resistance of the resistor. So we could take this expression for power and apply it to a resistor. So I'm gonna just, I like to redraw my circuits because it's good practice for us. So we'll just redraw this on this page. Here is our EMF. I'll just call that delta V for now. And here is our resistor. And this will indicate the current. So for any component, power is equal to the product of current and potential difference. Well, let's look at it for a resistor. Remember, for a resistor, the potential difference across the resistor, and we'll say from A to B. So the potential difference from A to B, or rather we'll go from B to A, going across our resistor, is equal to minus the current in the resistor times R. So this is Ohm's law. The minus, it's because the potential is lowering from high potential to low potential. Let's put this expression into our expression for power. So power is equal to the current times the potential difference. And notice for a resistor, we get that the power dissipated by the resistor is equal to minus the square of the current times the resistance. Now this minus sign usually isn't left here. This minus sign means that the resistor is dissipating, dissipating energy. So as long as we are aware that resistors dissipate energy, I'll just say the power of the resistor, we'll just look at the magnitude of this. This is how your book is going to express that formula, where we know that this I squared R is just the rate of energy dissipation, and the dissipation implies the minus sign, okay? And so if we look at this, what this is saying is the power in our circuit is proportional to the square of the current. Now that's pretty significant. That means if we double the current, the resistor will dissipate four times the energy because two squared is four. Or if we triple the current through our resistor, that resistor is going to dissipate nine times the energy. Or if we quadruple the current, the resistor will dissipate 16 times the energy because of this square relationship. So the power dissipated by the resistor is directly proportional to the square of the current. And the proportionality constant is just the resistance. So if we were to, let's say, graph this, and we will do a graph of power versus, versus current. That is, that is what our graph is going to look like. What might be helpful is just to also look at power versus current squared. And the power versus current squared would be a linear relationship where the slope of the line 
just corresponds to the resistance in that resistor. And that comes from the fact that we have this linear relationship right here. And I'm gonna write one more way of representing the power dissipated by a resistor. So we have these formulas right now for power. The power through any electrical component can be expressed as the product of current times the potential difference across that component. For a resistor, the power dissipated by a resistor can be expressed as minus I squared R. Actually, I'll stay consistent with the book. We'll just assume this is already representing dissipation. So I'll just write I squared R. So that's the power dissipated by the resistor. And there's another formula we could use. So I'm gonna go back to Ohm's law. So Ohm's law is the re gives us the relationship between potential difference, current and resistance. Um, let's do this. Let's express current in terms of potential difference and the resistance of the resistor. This means that we could express power in terms of potential difference and resistance. So if I plug in that expression for current, I would get the potential difference over the resistance squared. This is what I plugged in for the current times the resistance. Now a resistance in the numerator cancels with one in the denominator. So this allows us to express the power dissipated by a resistor as being equal to the potential difference squared across that resistor over the resistance. And remember, this is just equivalent to I squared R, which is equivalent to the product of the potential difference and the current. So this is essentially section 28.3 is introducing this idea of the energy dissipated by a resistor. And that dissipation reveals itself in the form of thermal energy.